Hello from St Albans. Hello. I'm back at my original stand. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Really, really beautiful day. And for once, I'm actually, hello, I'm actually feeling a bit warm. I'm usually, as you know, anyone who watches my uh, lives from the park, I'm generally shivering away because I haven't dressed properly. <laughs> and today I'm actually, I've got my hoodie on and it's I'm feeling a bit warm. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, let's just swing this round. Lovely blue sky. Haven't actually had too many of the, uh, you know what, so you can see one there, but I'm hoping that it looks like, yeah, that's just a, a contrail, so that makes a pleasant change. Um, let's swing that around. Yes, I hope you're all well, doing, doing good, wherever you are. Oh, lovely. I've got bare feet on the grass. It's so nice, so nice to have the, the sunshine. Everyone's really happy. And I was thinking this morning about, once again, um, keeping our, our frequencies high. But this is, it's all about energy. Um, this is, you know, it's what we are. It's what everything is, is, is composed of. Um, in different forms of the same same actual substance and um, whenever we're in a higher vibration we are creating a, a different reality for ourselves um, and the more people who are doing it obviously then we, we've got a consensus reality and that's what this is all about this battle is um, it's a battle for our our vibration really our frequency because with, with all the you know it's the it's fear based isn't it that's that's where the control comes in through fear but fear again it's it's a frequency it's a very low dense vibration and that's what they want to keep us in and that's what creates the reality that we experience. That's what brings uh, their plans to fruition because that really all they do is sow the seeds of, of fear. They plant those ideas, you know, we, all the predictive programming and, and the, the threats of what could happen. We take that on and it becomes something that we, we focus energy on and that's what brings things into our actual experience, our, our material uh, reality. And so any time we're not in that frequency, we're in completely the opposite, you know, a place of joy and excitement and, and you know, just being um, in gratitude. Gratitude is probably the, the strongest um, vibration in a sense because it encompasses so many others love joy you know you're just in that place of, of appreciation and so the fear it just you're not in fear so you're not going to be focusing on those things um arising around you they just won't be part of your experience and that's what this is all about it's about controlling our experience and yes obviously if we're living in a place of fear and dread and and dependence um powerlessness then that's what we we are then malleable we're then easily manipulated into doing the bidding you know anything to stay safe what we believe is is safe and so it's really down to us to to refuse to to buy into it all and to choose the opposite and it might seem really you know in the beginning it's a kind of fake it till you make it thing um hello andy hello mister yeah it's lovely and sunny here um 
yeah, there's this kind of fake it till you make it thing where you think, oh God, you know, you might not even believe of it. If you keep working on it, you just look for those little things that bring you joy. You know, it can be tiny stuff and you actually build from there. I've had really, really rough days and I've thought, okay, I'm going to just start to get myself up that vibrational scale and and it can't be something too big because it's too much of a leap and it feels like you can't get there and and you end up giving up but I've just focused on one little thing like I love my cups of tea as many of you know I'm a bit of a tea obsessive and so I've made myself a special pot of tea one of my favorite teas and I've got a whole little ritual around it a special cup and you know and I make make sure that I'm I'm sitting somewhere nice and I might have a nice bit you know something like that and I'm immediately starting to feel that gratitude and once you're in there you can build on it and so then your frequency you're not open to this bombardment of fear or you might we're, we're all going to dip into it absolutely but you can you know that you can get out of it and you've got that sort of detachment so you're not completely immersed there are all these little ways of of turning this around and you know that's the thing this what we what we're living through it's actually so much simpler um than we think you know we don't as in you know get it getting out of it turning this around when you look at it in terms of energy and frequency, when you can see that it's by us being in fear, being um, locked in these lower, denser energies, um, these fearful states and emotions, then that is what they use to create um, this, what becomes actually a hellish time here it really does, restricted, you feel like you're suffocating, rules and regulations and this, that and the other, and it's, um, it's all based on it, uh, your, your energy and it's, it's mind games, it's emotional ma manipulation, it's, it's, you know, we've seen it playing out for two years, but yeah, just looking around today, and the weather's just so lovely, feeling my bare feet on the grass and being reunited with the St Albans stand. I'm buzzing, you know, it just, and when you're in that state, these things can't touch you. If there are enough people, that becomes, you know, feeling that way and focusing on those things, that becomes the, the shared reality the shared experience for all of us but it does take individuals um to yeah to, to make that effort you know to really um get switched on um and recognizing when the buttons are being pushed but any time we can vibrate our, our way out of um these these low energy states these these emotions that keep us stuck and narrowed down where you can't actually see opportunity and potential and possibility because you just it's almost like you literally are closed off and you're you're unable to access those different states which is what it's all about that's what creation is and that's that's where it, it's coming from so yeah um just wanted to to share that and yeah I hope you're you're doing doing well wherever you are um had a good stand or having one we're talking about having a a big picnic here in a couple of weeks um to be back, back down to visit and yeah if the weather's like this it'll just be perfect so yeah I'd love to hear if, if you've got anything to um, advertise put out there for your stands um, for summer events or you know whatever it is you might have going on just um, get in touch you can email us um, admin at the stand in the park dot org and we'll happily share across our social media for you um, so yeah I'm going to get back um, to my friends and 
keep catching up with everyone. It's absolutely lovely. It's so nice to have got more than one stand now. Um, lots of friends, so it's lovely. But with that, I will bid you farewell. Have a really lovely rest of the day. Um, a nice evening if it's uh, you're in in Oz or America, one of the other countries. No, it wouldn't be America, would it? I think you're ahead of us. I'm not very good at time zones. Um, yeah, have a lovely, lovely day and I will catch up with you very soon. Mwah. Peace.